Yeah, before, during COVID, we just, we didn't know what was going on. We didn't know how it was going to go. And so I did certain things, like I stopped going on eBay, basically. So I used to go on eBay all the time to buy, um, to look at watch lots, right? Well, it was a couple years. This is the were the fruits of the very first time I went back on eBay in years uh, and bought a watch lot. So this is a junk watch lot. Let's look at the junk watch lot. Oh, that's the. this is the reason I actually bought the darn thing. So that's the first one first. <clears throat> I want to look at the other ones first. Let's, 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 business before pleasure, right? I'm actually not 100% sure what's in here. I kind of don't remember. Well, it's dirty, I'll tell you that. 7,005.70.72. It's not a 7,005. That'd be a 7,006, so I have to believe this is not original, or that somebody was having some fun. Let's see what, if anything, is in here. Hmm. Tell you, it's dirty. Seven thousand five. Huh. Someone slapped a seven thousand six dial on it. I don't know why, but they did. There's a sir. Oops, sorry about blinding you. There's a servicing mark. Two servicing marks. What does it say? I'm trying to read it. Hang on. I'll have to get some real magnification on it. Well, that's a mystery. Oh, look at that. Is that a Seiko extender? No, it's one of the ones that never fits. Oh, well. Let's look at the next one. Anyway, jump watch lots are great because you just never know what you're going to get. A citizen. What's left of a citizen? Mm -hmm. Let's open it up. Let me see what's in there. Oh, it's super tight. Oh my god. It does not want to come off. Oof. That was interesting. Ooh, look at how pretty it is. Look at that big balance. Well, that's pretty. Is the balance moving at all? Mm-hmm. Well, that doesn't help us, does it? the heck is that thing? Let's do it the old-fashioned way. Out. Out. I have no blessed idea what that is. Oh. I'm silly. It's the pallet fork bridge. I'm a, I'm a dingle. Well, I'll pull that apart and see what I can find. Interesting. Interesting. Beautiful movement, though. Let's see what's up here. You know, you got to keep new stuff coming in to sort of get that spark. That spark of excitement. Mm 
Bolaro. Never heard of it. Valoro, 17 joules. Ooh, it's super, super, super crazy out of adjustment. And it's filthy. Everybody's wincing. Doesn't feel like the mainspring's building up any power. Hmm. Well, that's pretty neat. I'll look and see what that movement is. I think it's got a busted mainspring. What's the deal with this bracelet? Expando. Made in Germany. That's some like, oh, what, does it have a clasp down there? Huh. Anybody seen anything like this before? Look at the dirt. Jesus. Oh, we got us to Seiko. That's good news. 61, 19, 71, 20. That is going to be April of 68. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? Case is a little worked. Dial looks nice. Where's the sweep hand? Uh, you get a little mark on the dial. Somebody popped this thing and took the sweep hand. Yeah, they did. That wasn't very tight. Oh, look at that. It's an A with the, with the two-screw weight. Or at least it would be. Now, it's really, really quite rare to see a Seiko that will not run. That's the A. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Tressa, 17 Jewel. It's overwound. Do we get a corner? Corner lift? Where's the slot? It doesn't look exactly sealed that close. Hang on. Oh, I see. It's right here in the corner. Oh, yeah, it's one of these. Get out. It's another one that just doesn't want to run. Yeah, totally overwound. Hang on, just one second. I always like uh, 
letting down mainsprings uh, because I feel like the the watch is happier when it's not stuck at full power. There, we take the click out and we get it going. Oh, let me actually make sure that I got all the power out of there. Oh, well. Well, broken balance, that'll do it. They must have broke the balance and then been like, why ain't this thing running? Well, that's that answer. Put that over there. What else do we got in here? Nothing special. I mean, it's a watch. That makes it special, doesn't it? Yeah, what, seven jewels? Look at that funky balance position. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, look at the high bridge for the escape wheel. Who in the heck made this thing? Well, that one is also, also overwound. Not quite sure how to let that one down. Mm -mm. Dead. Well, at least it's stuck. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I need this one. December 69. Wait, what's the submodel? 95. Interesting. Interesting. Last digit of five, that's usually North America, but this has, this has Chinese. What's up with that? Now let's see if Seiko can prove these people wrong. There, let's see, oh, none of these watches will run. Come on, it takes terrible, terrible damage to make a Seiko not run. What do we got going on? The reason I need this is that uh, this case is important. Hey, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's dirty as hell. Balance looks okay. Feels okay. That show we got. Well, here's one way to test it. This is unscientific, but it does work sometimes. Mm -mm, nothing. Either. We got a busted pivot, or uh, the fourth wheel pinion is rusted into place. So, like I said, pretty major, major damage. 
to make it stop, but it might also be minor. Rico Spatial? Spatial? Is that supposed to be speci spatial? Special? Rico, really? Rico Spatial? Special? Kirsten? Kirsten? No, that's not very tight. Ah. Mm, it looks like this thing is missing some pieces. I'm not familiar with that movement either. Hey, look, at least the balance is moving. Oh, my God. Crazy. It's the first almost runner. Isn't that wild. It's super magnetized and sticky. But at least we know the balance is doing something. Okay, now for the reason I bought this. Sixty one oh six eighty one hundred. Why look at that? It's a blue, just like this one. And notice that silver is a lot better. I got to get the hands in that wheel out of there, and the loom is all messed up. But. February 69, July 68. But the thing is, look, it's got the uh, so-called MACV SOG bracelet that went on these, which has just been revealed to that these, not necessarily the blue dial, but the dark gray definitely was in a book. Yep, there it is, Stellux. Case lines aren't bad. That's unfortunate. Before it, before it got shipped, I think that loom was intact. That's okay, I can clean it up. I can make it look better. That's, uh, speaking of looking better. Somebody's been messing with it. Hmm. Hey, movement ring's missing. Sixty one oh six B. Well, let's get those hands and the crap out of there. I don't want to get this running with stuff sitting around it. Get out, out, thank you. Well, the silver printing's pretty good. God, it's like between the two, I have one good dial. That's the correct handset. I mean, I can, I can definitely bring it back. But I was really hoping to be able to get that dial in one piece. We'll have to see. Wow, it's really, it had some serious moisture in there. But the dial doesn't look bad. I'll clean it up. We'll see. The metal's basically straight. Well, cool. That's great. Awesome. And I have this awesome bracelet. What's that clasp? Eh. 
anybody know what that logo is for? For all the moisture, case is in decent condition. Ooh, look at that. Look, it's still got its uh, friction washer. Damn it. Right here, see this, this little nylon friction washer. Well, we shall see. Cool. Well, that end links are a little jacked up, and boy, this thing really needs to be cleaned up and polished, but I'm happy. Cool. Great. Well, thanks for watching. First time I've gotten a watch let in in a long, long time. I don't know what to think about this. Spatial? Does it say, is that what it actually says? I swear to God, it says spatial. What the heck? Can someone explain that to me? Oh, there's the sweep hand. Japan? That's a Japanese movement? I mean, obviously it is. Okay, well that's fun. Let's get to it. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, this is part slot two. I was actually kind of conflicted about this one. There's a dude on eBay who's doing this thing that people have been doing for a long time with like Fender guitars, which is to have complete watches and then you break them down. Um, he didn't have all the parts to some of these watches. He just doesn't because I've been off eBay for so long. I wasn't aware of what he was doing. So, I mean, not like it's my responsibility or I'm going to go in there huffing at him. It's just that, you know, that's going to be his business and that's fine. I just would like to get in there. I bought this lot for one reason. One reason only. took apart this one is from 69 i think he's got the case back i think nobody's bought it um but i think it's probably gone but look this watch was in was in really nice condition it really really was <laughs> boy that's a nice dial Woo -ee. man alive I mean, normally I don't advocate <clears throat> breaking apart original things either, but I, I'm i going to call this a service dial. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's look at the other stuff. Sorry, I know everybody's wincing. I am too. Uh, his pictures weren't great. I have a fair idea about some of this stuff. Yeah, and what's also a killer is a lot of his stuff looks like it's almost new. This is um, this is one of the sixty-one nineteen. Uh, uh, what I, I call them the the dress mas. Uh, they use the same. They're a, they use the ha same handset as a. Uh, oh wait. I have sort of a custom one that I built. Just imagine either all black or all silver, but that's the handset. Mm, it's a slightly different model. Maybe not for this movement. Yeah, like, look at this. This is a 6106. Jesus, this thing looks like it was basically... 
If it was worn, it wasn't worn for long. Crystal got smashed. Look at the case back. Wow, wow. 8239. I think I have one. I think I have one of these models uh, with a really beaten case uh, in my project drawers. That's a really nice case. Oh, let's clean it up. Maybe I'll bring that watch back. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, yeah. All right. I was looking at this thing, and I'm like... There's another reason I was looking at it. This looks a lot like a, um, like a chronometer case. But I'm not sure. Is that case at... Is that crown at 345? Yeah, sure enough is. Okay, well that means it's a something else. And if it's Seiko, it's gonna be like a 7S. That's a nice case though. It does look like the 5126, oh, that sucks. It does look like the 5126 chronometer case though. Just a bit. Hmm. Oh yeah, I haven't actually restored this. I was just playing with this. I don't know, it doesn't. I keep forgetting about it. I like the look of it. I don't know if I'd wear it, though. Uh, 7,005 or 7,006 case. Uh, base metal tank. Oh, yeah, it's a quartz. <clears throat> it's another 7,005, 7,006 case. Yeah, look at that. It's got a little wear, but it's not far out. I mean, I bet that would clean up. What was this for? Was this a 6119? It's wacky, though. Hooded lug design. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, this is some Swiss thing. I don't know what that is. Base metal case for a slim long quartz. This is it's a little cell. Oh, 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 it's a sample case. It's a dummy salesman sample. If uh, maybe that's what these were. Maybe these were salesman samples. Hmm. Anyway, LaSalle's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice quality. Maybe I ought to find a movement and make this thing run. Hmm. Now, here's the stuff that got my attention. These are... They're, they're these cases. These sport diver cases. Just like this. Uses the same exact mint case, by the way, as these do. Oops, sorry. There's that. So, yeah, this is the kind of stuff he's taken apart. Now, that one's had the bejesus polished out of it, and it's got some minor pitting. Look at that. No pitting. Clean surfaces, and look at that brushing. Look at the top brushing. I, I, I thought it was going to be good. I didn't know it was going to be that good. This is the... Um, this is the the case that went with the navigator timer. And so, because these mid cases are the same <clears throat> as the navigator mid cases, this watch was just, it just had the heck beaten out of it. The, the dial looks this good is a testament to my bullheaded stupidness because I would just would not stop. But it's still pretty rough. Also, the case on this one has lots and lots of rust pitting. So that's something I don't want. Um, it's a, it's a, it, it compromises the, the physical structure of the watch. It's, it's service case time. Look at those lines, huh? Look at the top brushing. It's gonna look so much nicer. 
and with the new dial. And this watch really has earned my love and respect. This thing, ever since finally, since finally finding its gremlin, this thing is keeping to within like five, 10 seconds a day. I just love it to death. So we're gonna, I'm gonna make it a little better. We're gonna make it a little prettier. We're gonna have a better case and that'll be, that'll be good. Cool, right on. Alrighty then. Oh shoot, I forgot there's one more. Non-screw down. There's a 6309 that has a case a lot like this. But again, I don't think the crown is at... No, it's not. The crown is not at 4. It's at 345. I guess this too must be a 7S. That's wacky. That's some really serious wackiness. Oh, and then there's this one. I forgot about that. Oh, no, I did look at that one. Is that the one I didn't look at? Is it this one? No, I guess I was just confused. I guess I was just confused. Man, what the hell? I mean, uh, hopefully, I mean, I could polish that. I might have to burnish it out, actually. It's a nice case. Wonder what I can put in it. I don't have the case specs. Look at that thing. Yeah, I'll find that. 6106. Seiko Time Course, Singapore. TL Sua. So it's going to be a mid to late. Oh, it'll be 80s. No, 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 no. I'm high. Not 80s. It's at the moment. It's at 81. Yeah, it would be probably mid 80s. Mid, later 80s, maybe. God, but I saw if this was a 60s case. Huh, I'm confused. I mean, no, that's 1974. In Singapore, though, I'm really confused. This is going to require some... That's got to be 84. 84 November. November 84. Okay, I finally sorted out my brain cells. November 84 with this, like, 60s style case. I swear that they were making an early 6106 version of this. I know they did. Well, I'll go find it. Oh, well, thanks for watching.